Lately, I've been posting a few YouTube shorts about riding in the heat, and people have asked me in the comments what I use for electrolytes, because I've mentioned how important those are when riding. So this video, I'm going to show you what I use. Up until recently, I've been mainly using three products for electrolytes. The first one is heat. And I've had people mention they don't like heat. I really like heat for one main reason, and I'll mention that coming up here in a minute. So HEED has carbohydrate and electrolytes, and it's got calcium, magnesium, potassium, vitamin B6, manganese, chromium, L-carnosine, glycine, and L-triosine. So a lot of electrolytes, and it's got carbohydrate. Now, the reason I like HEED is because it uses maltodextrin instead of white sugar. I am extremely sensitive to white sugar. I cannot touch white sugar or my blood sugar will crash. And I've had that issue for a long time. Now, what's cool is I can have natural sweeteners. I can have fruit, I can have honey, uh, and I can have maltodextrin. It's, it's a more complex form of carbohydrate and it does fine with my blood sugar. And so that's one reason I really like Heed. And it's got a scoop in here. You just put a scoop in your water bottle and you've got carbs and electrolytes during your ride. I will use Heed if my ride is more than one hour. If it's an hour or less, then I really don't need carbs or even electrolytes on the ride. But if it's more than an hour, especially in the summertime, I will use heat. The other product that I swear by, and I've mentioned this before, but it's Endurolytes. So Endurolytes are also made by Hammer Nutrition, and these are capsules. So it's only electrolytes, there's no carbs or anything. And the way that I use Endurolytes is I will take a couple before ride, if it's a race or an event, I may take a couple, two hours before the event, an hour before, and then right before the event. And then I usually take them on a ride if it's, like I said, an endurance race especially or a long event. And it's nice that you can have these with you in case you're in an event that has sag stops, but you don't know what's going to be at that sag stop. So you don't know if they're going to have uh, a drink mix that you can drink. Now, I've used Gatorade in the past and... I cannot do Gatorade. Gatorade actually gives me an upset stomach. So I will bring uh, Endurolytes like in just a little plastic bag. You can use a, an old pill bottle and put them in that. Uh, just something that will allow you to take these on the ride. And I take two about every hour during a long ride race or an event. And then I take a couple afterwards. I will even take these on days that I don't ride in the summertime because if you hydrate properly and you're drinking a ton of water, you need to have electrolytes. And so I'll just go off on a little tangent here and say that if you drink a ton of water without electrolytes, you can get hyponatremia. If you don't know what that is, it's when your electrolytes in your body get out of balance because you've drinking too much water and it can be dangerous. Like people have literally died from it. I had a friend who did outbound gravel, which back then was called Dirty Kanza. And the year before he had gotten dehydrated, so one year he drank a ton of water during the ride and got hyponatremia and started hallucinating during the event. Uh, so it's really important to balance your water with electrolytes and this is a great way to do it. Another product that I've used in the past that I really like, again, it's made by Hammer, is these little fizz tablets and these taste so good. And all you do is you drop these in a water bottle and they're like little Alka-Seltzers <laughs> and they just fizz and they turn into an electrolyte drink mix. What's nice about these is you can just put them in your bag and you don't have to worry about bringing a powder with you if you're traveling or going to a race. And I really like those. I don't use them that often, but when I do, they're super convenient. The fourth product that I just started using recently is something called Trisalts. And the reason I started using this is because I had a doctor recommend it. I went to a general practitioner, a very natural GP, because I was getting low energy, especially in the afternoons, and she did some blood work. And just a little side note here is she said I was really deficient in vitamin D. And who would have thought, being in Florida, the sunshine state, I'm now on a prescription vitamin D, 50,000 units one time per week. And it's made a huge difference because when you're low in vitamin D, it can affect your energy levels and your mood. And, and like I said, it's just it's been a game changer for me being on a vitamin D supplement. But back to Trisalt. So this is a powder. All it is is electrolytes. It's got calcium, magnesium, and potassium. And you put one teaspoon in a water bottle, pretty much no taste to it. 
And so if you don't need carbohydrate with your drink mix and you just want electrolytes, this is a good option. I will actually add this to my heat mix on really long and hot rides. For example, this past weekend, I did a four hour solo gravel century and the heat index was over 100 degrees. And I added it to my heat water bottles to give me extra electrolytes. I will mention again, the importance of bringing electrolytes with you on events or rides where you need to refill your water bottles, especially at events where you don't know what's gonna be at the SAG stop. And the two products that I've showed you, I've already mentioned the Enduralytes, bringing those with you, but also these Fizz tablets can be beneficial for just packing these in your jersey or your hip pack or camelback or whatever you use. And again, you can add electrolytes to the water. So that's gonna wrap up this short video on showing you what I use for electrolytes. Now I do eat during a ride if it's more than an hour to an hour and a half. So if you wanna know what I eat during the ride, I can make a separate video. So let me know in the comments below. I may try other products like Element. I've heard a lot of people mention it. I've never tried it yet, but I may try it. However, I'm the kind of person that when I find something that works, I just stick with it and all the products that I've shown you really work for me. And I live in an area that's probably hotter and more humid than where most of you live. And if it works for me, I can pretty much guarantee you that it'll work for you. Now, just a disclaimer that I have to put on videos like this. I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. This is just what's worked for me and it's worked very well. But let me know what's worked for you as far as electrolytes for your ride. What do you use? How does it work? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.